senior police officer arrested and charged linked with the illegal abduction of a Taiwanese man. The senior officer was not named by Metropolitan Police Bureau Chief Police Lieutenant General Pak Pong Pong Putri but he confirmed that he held the rank of a police lieutenant colonel. His identity was later unearthed as 59-year-old police lieutenant colonel Krit Sanaporn Thapthoi. He has been charged with abduction, attempted murder and extortion. He has been transferred to an inactive post pending further disciplinary moves. All those arrested so far were initially denied bail due to the serious nature of the criminal acts committed by the gang in pursuit of 93 million baht trade grievance but a court on Tuesday handed down terms including a ban on leaving the kingdom. Key player, US man Louis Iskin is a former drug trafficker, prison inmate, tech entrepreneur and philanthropist who founded El Orm-based tech firm Dropin in 2015. The commissioner of the Metropolitan Police Bureau in Bangkok, on Tuesday, confirmed that a senior police officer has been arrested and charged in relation to the 28th of March abduction and attempted murder of a Taiwanese businessman orchestrated by a group acting on behalf of a 52-year-old U.S. entrepreneur who claimed he lost 93 million baht in a rubber gloves transaction in 2020. It also emerged from a press conference given by Police Lieutenant General Pak Pong Pong Putra that the U.S. Embassy was given prior notification of the arrest of the two Americans, former U.S. Marine Corps and Gulf War veterans, before their apprehension by armed police last week. The main driver of the plot, Mr. Louis Iskin can be revealed as a serial entrepreneur and philanthropist from California who, in his colorful past, was jailed in 2000 by U.S. federal authorities for drug trafficking. The kidnapping operation was outlined at a press conference on Saturday evening given by the Deputy Commissioner of the Central Investigation Bureau Police Lieutenant General Jirafok Furedech. Americans presented at a police press conference it followed the arrests of two Americans, ex-Marine Corps members, last week. On Saturday last, the plot and background to what happened was explained to the media. At the conclusion of last Saturday night's encounter with the press, a gentleman addressed the gathering and reporters. He attempted to have the story play down in particular reports that a serving police officer was involved with the plot and vociferously urged them to have regard international relations and the sensitive nature of the story. Taiwanese man told by his captors it was futile to report his abduction to the police due to the involvement of a senior officer now arrested it is believed that the Taiwanese man, Mr. Wen Yu Chung, was told after he was kidnapped and injured by the gang on Sunday. 28 March last that any attempt to submit a complaint to the police was futile as it would not be pursued. They told him a senior policeman was linked to the operation. Mr Chung did not believe this and promptly made his report at Thong Law Police Station after first receiving hospital treatment for injuries at the hands of his abductors who violently assaulted him. Two Americans arrested over kidnapping linked with failed gloves deal and loss of 93 million baht The kidnapping of Taiwanese businessman by the gang was linked by police Lieutenant General Jirafop on Saturday to a business deal that went sour when 93 million baht was lost by one of the Americans arrested last week, Mr. Louis Williams Iskin, who had contracted with a firm called The Collection Agency to procure rubber gloves from a company called Paddy The Room Trading Company Limited. Specially trained U.S. Marine Corps veterans The two Americans arrested by armed police last week were specially trained U.S. Marine Corps veterans of the Gulf War. Both men confronted the captured man in an attempt to coerce him, his associates and relatives into paying over $3 million. Arrested senior police officer not named by the police chief who confirmed the charge against him and his transfer to an inactive post on Monday. The Bangkok Police Chief Police Lieutenant General Pakapong did not divulge the name of the senior officer involved but indicated that he held the rank of a police lieutenant colonel and worked in the traffic control division of the force. His identity later emerged as Police Lieutenant Colonel Krit Sanaporn Thapthoi. He indicated the officer has been charged in relation to the plot as an accomplice with abduction, attempted murder and extortion as well as an illegal assembly charge and offences under the emergency decree. Police have also pursued charges against the man for participation in an illegal secret society with intent to commit a criminal offence. The police officer has been assigned to an inactive post while a disciplinary panel will be convened in accordance with the normal procedure in such situations in line with the legal process against him. Only six arrest warrants issued by the Bangkok Criminal Court, two are still on the run with for now being held says police chief. The police chief, however, 
indicated that only six arrest warrants had been issued in the case with four of these sought already detained while two are now being sought by police. Earlier reports had suggested eight people were the subject of court arrest orders issued by the Bangkok Criminal Court. The two remaining suspects are believed to be still in Thailand. U.S. Embassy notified prior to last week's arrests Police Lieutenant General Pakapong Fongpatra addressed the issue of sensitivity and international relations. He explained that the relevant embassies of the foreign nationals had been notified prior to the arrests being carried out last week including the apprehension of the two Americans, 41-year-old Jeremy Hughes Manchester and 52-year-old Louis Williams Iskin. The Thai man arrested in last week's police operation was named as Ekbadin Prasitnarit. It was also revealed that police objected to bail for the accused men as legal proceedings are being processed in the case based on the severity of the charges they face. In a later development, the defendants were granted bail by a Bangkok court on a surety of 300,000 baht. All are required to wear ankle bracelets and not to leave the kingdom. American denies the crime but has a colorful history in the United States as an entrepreneur, philanthropist, drug dealer and prison inmate. The Americans are reported to be vehemently denying the charges against them. The ringleader of the plot is a well-known and wealthy serial entrepreneur who also has a colorful criminal past in the United States that he makes no secret of. Jailed for 16 years after initially facing a 30-year U.S. prison term while claiming legal double jeopardy in 1998, Mr. Ziskin, a graduate of the University of Southern California, became a major importer of ecstasy operating in the Los Angeles area. The ex-Marine smuggled the product into the United States from Europe. He was arrested on 7 December 2000 and his operation taken down by law enforcement. After later filing double jeopardy claims against the charges and losing a case, the American made a deal with federal prosecutors which saw him jailed for 16 years and fined $9 million. He was initially facing a 30-year term after his streamlined and highly organized business delivering ecstasy to drop boxes all over the LA area was smashed. Founded the firm Dropping after going into the tech business in 2015 which rose high to success released from prison in 2011, Siskin went working in his brother's business before going out on his own into the tech business in 2015 where he pioneered drone technology and formed a partnership with ride-sharing company Lyft. A Forbes profile on the entrepreneur was published in 2018. He talked about his company Dropin, based in Los Angeles which successfully pioneered the use of drones managed by smartphones to allow insurance assessors to more conveniently and cheaply view properties which were the subject of claims. His firm was chosen by Lloyds of London Partners as one of only 20 firms which the old British institution was prepared to underwrite. Listen, I've managed to do it and I've been inside rebranded in July 2020, Dropin reported that it had expanded its business using RE technology into a range of business arenas from property management and sales to healthcare and providing services to municipal authorities. In the meantime, Mr. Ziskin became known for his philanthropy and was in demand as a motivational speaker where he openly talked about his prison life in the past exhorting and empowering young school students to reach higher. I was a mentally gifted minor who thought rules did not apply to me, he told Forbes before later explaining how he approached motivating schoolgoers. The kids say we can't do that and I say listen, I've managed to do it and I've been inside.